Welcome to the Stacey Bell Show. I'm your host Stacey Bell is there. To all my subscribers who already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. To anybody who's new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button right but below. below. See, my girl knows. <laughs> right below. So you can be notified whenever I post up new content and new episodes. So today I have my very special guest with me, Madora Bertrand. Yes, Madora. So viewers <laughs> i had a brain fart <laughs> just sit back and relax because you know me and my girl Madora, we're gonna have some girl talk we're gonna do a little interview as you can see we got the wine out you know you know how they say we got tea time we got trouble wine time for you guys trouble yes we got wine time for you okay <laughs> cheers. okay cheers cheers thank you okay mm. so, good. so good mango yes so okay. yes you know we got the snacks out the fruits everything <laughs> Ooh, girl <laughs> Medora, you are the bomb. I came in, I was like, oh, snap, she's feeding me and everything. Like, yes. Oh, my other guests don't be feeding me. No? No, oh, they man. don't. Come so, on. you know, you're definitely going to be a reoccurring oh, okay. guest on the show. So next time I'll do a cheese board. I got Ooh, you. This girl is fancy. Okay, now you're talking my language. I love it. Love to see it. And she's Haitian, too. You know, we got Haitian beauties Haitian over here. queens over here. Haitian queens. You know, I would be twinning with her because I have curly hair, too. But, you know, I'm rocking the braids. But, you know. Yes. See, so. if you came next week, the braids would have been out, too. Right. Oh, yeah, but, you know, it's okay. One episode, we'll, like, match each other. We'll have braids. Absolutely. And another episode, we'll both have our curly hair. Oh, I heard good ideas over yes, here. Yes, you know, Haitian queen, Haitian beauty. Get you a Haitian girl, okay? <laughs> we loyal, not like the men, but the women, we loyal. Not the men. No. Not the men, though. We the women are loyal, not the men, okay? Men, oh Ugh. no. <laughs> Except for my dad. Dad, I love you. If yeah. you watch this. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be watching in Haiti showing it to all his friends. Oh You're like, oh my PC <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he's always like resharing all my blogs and everything i'm yep. like oh my god pop like i don't think they'll understand he, right. but there's a thing on my blog where you can translate to other languages and i didn't oh, know that's that so dope and i didn't know that and then he goes oh no they get it don't worry about yep. it I'm like, oh my god okay fine yep my dad is like a big fan of my talk show too so like yeah. if there's if there's like two weeks i go without posting an episode he's like what's going on what's oh up like god. i'm waiting for a new episode i'm like <laughs> Give me some you time, man. You know, I'm working. Yeah, yeah. I'm in a, what's this? in construction. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh so God. people don't understand. It takes time. Like yes, it, does. it doesn't just pop in your head, and you're like, yeah. oh, that's what I'm doing today. Yeah. Um, or sometimes you have an idea, and it, it's not gonna work. Exactly. And just give us a little time. We'll right. get there. Yeah. Let's <laughs> chill to the next episode. You know. But um, so my girl Madora here. I'm getting into a little interview with her. So obviously, as you can see, she was talking earlier. She does blogs, right? Yes. So all right, Madora. What inspired you to start your blog journey? Oh, honestly, I'm gonna say my mom. Okay. Because like growing up we always we always read books. Like we had a book like a uh, a room filled with books. So it's mm -hmm. like whenever we were bored we would just we would just read. So it's one of so I started writing when I was about nine and nine, ten, around that age. And like I would just write little things, like little stories and stuff like that. Okay. And um, the earthquake happened, and then I came here, okay. and then that's when, you know, I stopped writing for a long time. And then I would just read books, like just as you can see, I have books everywhere in this house. Yeah, yeah, I'm like reading though, so she different from me. I, I listen to audio book. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's that's what Kevin does. He listens to audio books, yeah. but I like the whole paper, like holding the book type of thing. Like okay. I love that. So my, I would say my mom, like because it's. She would she she's a big supporter to be honest with you. Okay. She'll read my stuff. She's like, that period doesn't belong there. I'm like, oh my god, here we she's go. Specific with yeah. That. yeah, oh yeah. She so I feel like that's that's who like okay. made me who I am today. Okay, so what do you blog about in particular? Let the viewers know. Like um, what what are some topics or is it you traveling? Like the viewers want to so know more about what you're blogging about. Honestly, when I first started Feed Your Appetite, it was supposed to be about everything, like life, about food, about um anything that you can think of like yeah. it was supposed to be about that and but i started writing about how to get through certain things in life and how like sometimes like when you're doing something like somebody else is going through the same thing mm -hmm. and a lot of people like that a lot of people are like oh my god i'm going through the same thing like I'm, yeah. i appreciate you doing that like i, I appreciate you putting your story out there so i feel like right now it's more about like helping pe others like yeah. to know like you're not in this alone of course and then yeah. i just posted like for the first time i posted about like a cake recipe and then i'm just people are like oh my god this cake was awesome yeah and then i'm like okay more recipes to come then yeah so it's 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 a little bit about everything but i really am focused about helping others okay, because it's okay. like that's like i'm a very 
emotional person okay. it's like but Same, I'm, I'm very I'm like, emotional too. <laughs> no i love it and it's whenever somebody tells me like if even if it's one person that's like oh my god you changed my view on this you changed my view on that like i'm like oh my god this is awesome i'm this is great that's okay. that's what i want to do okay so i love it so where can people find your blog so viewers you can find it? find it on instagram okay what's your instagram miss bertrand okay um, spell it out m-i-s-s-b-r-t-r-a-n-d and you can also find it on sometimes i'll post my snapchat which is i'm not gonna tell you because it's embarrassing <laughs> to be honest with you she'll probably put it below <laughs> um but i also post it on facebook i but i am on feed your appetite that video that blog okay so that's is that your the, own website yeah, or yeah, do you find other is. bloggers or it's just no your no, no website? that's just me so we that's yeah. where we can find all your yeah, blogs but really if you too. click the link in my bio on my instagram it's right there and it'll just pop you everything okay. and then you'll see everything it's I love kind of, it. Yeah. I, so, like, I know you said you're reading stuff. So, like, when did Feed Your Appetite, like, when did all that come into effect fully, like, officially? Oh. Like, when you created the Feed Your Appetite website? I want to say about three years ago. Okay, so you've been yeah. doing this for three years. Yeah. It's, okay, it's, so she's not new to this. Okay, like, Drake, right, she's a veteran. <laughs> no, sometimes it'll take me a very long time to write something, and people are like, oh my god, when are you posting next? I'm like, oh, yeah, give it's me a writing minute. process. Yeah. It, it is, and it's like sometimes people, not, I'm not a writer, I'm not gonna lie to you, but sometimes you get a writer's block, and it's the worst yes. thing that could ever happen to you. Yeah, it's like right. you wanna write about so many things, but nothing comes to mind. Yeah. So it's just, it's just one of those things where you just have to you know let it slide yeah, you know exactly. you just have to come and just do your thing exactly. you can't you can't force it and I don't want to write about something that I don't believe in because like exactly. every time everything I write about it's because it's something I believe in like I can't right. do like the whole fake thing I can't do that good cuz so okay it's so funny cuz before we started recording I was talking to Medora <laughs> earlier telling her like what we do, how, like, we're influencers in a way. Like, she blogs, I have my talk show, I video vlog. Like, it's not easy. Like, it is, uh, people don't understand the behind-the-scenes process. Like, okay, you, the writer's block, me setting up equipment, like, editing, or this, takes, like... It takes a village to be yeah, honest with you. Yeah, literally, it like, it's not all glitz and glam. Like, mm -hmm. you literally have to work for it with anything you do. Like, Absolutely. And it's, like, honestly, I can tell myself that I have a very good support system that will, like, my sister-in-law, she will text me, she's like, are you writing today i'm yeah. like oh no i'm not she goes yeah. well get to it so yeah. you know that like right there just pushes me a little bit more okay. it's just like it's it's kind of great you know yeah. to have that little person like helping you out there and stuff exactly so it's kind of awesome <laughs> so how often would you say you put out a blog Whew. like once every three weeks it once a it, month it depends sometimes i'll put something every week sometimes oh, okay. I'll, yeah sometimes i'll put something <laughs> once a month Sometimes I won't post for like two months. Yeah. It's it's all like it's yeah, all the process, and I try to write every day to okay. make like so. Sometimes like I know what to like what's coming next, okay. but sometimes it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Life happens, family happens, yep. like uh, and I'm from Haiti, so you know <laughs> it's like things. Yeah. Always, something's always going on. So yeah. it's it takes it takes a lot to actually do the things that you're you're doing it does it does oh my god like even me like i i try to like set a goal to put out an episode every week but sometimes it doesn't always happen like that like sometimes like if i'm trying to set up things with people oh, like yeah. people's schedules so like sometimes the universe is like <laughs> try again next time. right you know but it's like i want to show them that i'm consistent like because yes. i know consistency is key but like we're moving we're trying you know like if, but we'll get there one day Just, exactly if you put it into the universe it'll happen exactly all you have to do is believe in it yes yes <laughs> and um so what do you hope like your viewers who read your blogs like what do you want to inspire in them in your viewers when they read your blogs like what do you want them to take out of your blogs i want people to be i want somebody to be a better person okay. to be honest with you because it's like a lot of people like struggle through life with like a lot All of right. things but i always <laughs> i always Preach. tell people i'm like don't let your past define your future because yes i understand you will struggle you will like something will happen and you'll 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 do some bad habits and you'll you know things will happen yeah. but don't let that just be it yeah. like move move on with your life like you yes it takes time to move on but just be that person that you know you can be yeah that's what i feel like my blog is okay. all about and everything i like that and i also like how you were saying earlier that you only like write about stuff you believe in and yes. not fake stuff i feel like 
it's so important to like keep your integrity and hold on to oh, your character 100%. and your morals because like oh yeah a lot of people who are in our lifestyle will kind of mm-hmm. like give up their morals and what they stand for for other things and it's like me like no like, see if I, I don't agree with that i don't want to talk I, about i it, can't you know? do that to be honest with you. Same, same. i'm not a great liar so it's yeah like, me neither <laughs> i'm like mm-hmm. You know? Okay. Right. See, I can't. I can't do that. To be honest with you, exactly. if I don't like something, if I don't like a product, if I don't like, I I can't do anything about it. I yeah. really can't, unless you want some botch thing, like where it's like I'm terrible at it, like yeah. Fine. But I I won't be able to. Yeah. It's the, I feel like that's what everybody should do. To be honest with you, you should keep believe real, in what believe in what you do. Exactly. Ooh, girl, you got apples. Sorry, okay. I'm listening to. I'm like, oh, how she know apples is my favorite fruit. <laughs> Oh no! See, I have a little bit of everything. I'm like, you want to be fatty? I got some chips in here. Mm-hmm. Like, you want to be healthy? We got the apples, the hot girl summer. You know, to have my body looking oh, snatched. Oh god! Please. <laughs> I, you know what? I'll try again next year. <laughs> I see that mean. Mm, I've decided to wait until next year. Oh no! It's honestly, it's, working out is not. It's. I try so hard to do it. It's. I'm trying to be consistent right now. I've been consistent for like a month, for like four th- four times a week, like yeah. doing it and everything. I was doing it three times a week, and then and then it worked down like two weeks. And then stuff happens. Mm-hmm. Things always happen in my life. I don't know what's going on. Who's looking over here and doing these things to me? But mm-hmm. stop it, right? Don't cut it out. <laughs> Seriously, but no, girl, working out it is a process. Like it is, and you know, it's like being with somebody that actually works out like five times a week it's it's crazy it's like <laughs> like damn i got good like, up to him. oh my god he'll look at me he's like did you go to the gym today i'm right. like no right. he's like let's do this yo i didn't be like yeah i did like, oh no see, morning, you know again i can't lie he'll know i'm lying right, he'll be right. like no you didn't you know you didn't i saw your location you went up the gym today right sure yeah. usually you post be like um, i didn't feel like posting no. today exactly. no it's honestly if you don't see me posting like me going to the gym i did not go to the gym that day i'm not gonna lie to you it's funny because i follow you on instagram so I, when i be seeing the apple watch i'm like oh she oh, put she, her calories yeah. in today oh yeah i it, it, i love working out don't get me wrong i love the people i work out with i yeah. love my gym it's so amazing but it's like sometimes you just want to lay in bed and just watch tv Facts. and, and just drink stuff. A, yeah. Dr- yeah drink a yeah. bottle of wine yeah like you haven't even touched your wine like what oh are you god, doing girl, like i am almost done oh my gosh girl we gonna have to pour some more for oh. the next segment i don't think you guys are ready for this <laughs> so before i wrap up my interview with you is there anything you want to let the viewers know just follow my instagram you know just follow it and let me help you and you can help me too like if you want to read something like just let me know and then i'll probably work something out with you guys like you know it's whatever you guys want just let me know for as sure. long as i believe in it it's 100 <laughs> so percent like, you know, disclaimer i know you sent me this but uh, i don't believe in this. i don't know if i can write about that <laughs> right i love it i love it so all right so you guys heard her miss bertrand that's how you're gonna find that's her sweet. her blogs i'm gonna put all the information at the end of the video in the video so you'll see that so viewers Medora, are you ready for our next segment let's on do the Stacey Bell Show? Oh my god, I'm scared, but let's do it. Don't be scared. <laughs> it's girl talk. Oh, you guys oh. ready? Oh, let's do this yeah, girl talk. Yeah, this girl probably a lot of wine, girl. Girl talk. Mm. Mm. Are you ready for this? This is amazing wine. All right. You did good. All right? It's really good. So good, so good. <laughs> Maybe I could be like their sponsor, be like, yeah, this is the oh, wine. Oh, yeah. Like, this is this is the wine. Like, it's so good mango. it's oh my god it's amazing it's amazing and i'm from haiti like mangoes and anything <laughs> exactly you know we love fruits and everything i made this mango salsa let's all be honest <laughs> like it's like just the tomatoes and onions don't do it for me i just chop up some mangoes and put it in there Woo! so good <laughs> yes 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 i love it so Medora, i know you're in a relationship and stuff but yes. <clears throat> what is some advice that you can give to a single woman <laughs> Who are not in a relationship yet, but maybe looking or you know my keep, viewers. Keep trying. <laughs> keep trying. What do you mean? Keep trying now. As in, don't give up on love. I, when before I met my significant other, I I I had given up. Like I was just like done. I'm like oh absolutely not. Like with everybody I've been with before. Oh my god. It was so how how long were you single? Like how many years were you single before you met your significant other that you're with now? I'm gonna be honest with you. I was never truly in a relationship before oh, him. Oh wow! So like I would like situationships entanglements. <laughs> exactly. It's like I would be with somebody and then finding out they have a girl. Oh my like, god! Oh my god! It's like come on, dude. Like I'm a we nice person. We need a movie on our love oh life. Oh Like I see that all the time. If, I'm like, yo, the stuff I've I been through, people, I cannot this, even make this up. I know. Like it's like in a movie. <laughs> if like, I tell literally. people my stories, they'll be like. 
what is wrong with this girl? girl? <laughs> it's like it's not me. I swear to God, yes. it's not me. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, I when I first met Kevin, <clears throat> his name's Kevin. <laughs> He's my little hubby. Mm -hmm. Um, when I first met him, I was seeing somebody in before, uh -huh. and it, I thought, you know, like I was like, oh, okay, cool, like we're. We're vibing. We went to high school together. What the one you were talking to before, or Kevin? Be no, before him. Before Kevin. Okay, so the one you were talking to before Kevin, you thought you guys yes. were vibing. We were vibing. Like yeah. you know, we went to high school together. We would talk about that. Like it was yeah. all fun. Like you know, we would like go on certain dates and everything. Like mm. nothing crazy. Sips mm. <laughs> line. I'm listening. Yeah. <laughs> nothing crazy. But then it's like it's just it didn't work out. Like I wouldn't yeah. say like it's anything like that we both did. It was just one of those things where. It's, it's just yeah. we did what we did and then yeah it's all done exactly. but I, I was a little hurt to be honest with you of course of course I'm yeah. sensitive uh, me too I'm a I'm Capricorn <laughs> oh wow well, I'm, a, I'm a Gemini and I'm, I'm oh! very emotional oh damn Kevin's a Gemini oh, oh wow oh, I love him no one do why you love me too it makes <laughs> sense we're very lovable we're lovable people yeah you're so crazy <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not crazy. Okay, okay, I'll go away, go away, yeah. Um, no, so, it's like, and then I met Kevin. But, I mean, I did my little hot girl summer thing. Like, yes, <laughs> girl! That's me this year, and last year, and the summer before. <laughs> My boss called me. He was like, "Oh, do you want to work today?" Because we met at work. He was like, "Oh, do you want to work today?" I'm like, "It's two days before Christmas. I don't want to work." Right. And then yeah. my mom was like, "You know what? Get the extra money. Why not? You're not doing anything." Exactly. So I went to work, and then I saw him. I texted my best friend at the time. I'm like, "I just met my husband, just to let you know." <laughs> I'm crying. This is so hilarious. <laughs> and then she's Quincy. like, "Quincy, that's how I felt about Quincy." Quincy <laughs> Brown. I just found you. <laughs> I found you. <laughs> Put the ring on it. No, and then it was I, like we just clicked. But then he gave me his phone number. He did not text me. I'm like, Kevin. what are you doing? Like, but then I'm not gonna lie to you. It was like ten minutes. <laughs> Yo, she just like me. I'm like, please really text me back. Text me five and send you a no. text. No, so I left to work, and then I was like, oh, you know, like since we're gonna be working together, here's my phone number. Like you, you know, yeah, you can yeah. text me if you need anything. But I really didn't give him my phone number for work, let's be honest. Yeah, seriously, and it was for other intentions. But exactly, yeah. he was a good looking man. Oh, Hello, yeah, on. exactly. And then he did not text me. So I texted him. I'm like, is there an issue? <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry, what? And then I'm like, <laughs> yo, yo this guy's crazy. He started dying. He you goes, you oh, told you him you didn't text me? Yeah. And then he started dying. He goes, oh my God. And then like, he's like, what? Right. He's like, this crazy bitch. Right. I'm like, no. Oh my God. Right. And then we just started talking. And it was one of those things where it's like, at some point, like three days later, he was like, you know, I'm working on myself. Girl, what are we talking about this earlier? Yeah. Every time you meet a yep. kid. You no, know, I'm goes, working on. He goes, why do you guys on, do that? Don't do that. To, don't do right. not say that to a woman. Just don't like, touch her. Don't say anything. Like, yeah, just I'm let us vibe out. Myself. Work together on yourself. Thank you, you know? Yeah. Thank you. So, <laughs> so I told so he goes, I'm working on myself right now, like you know. Um To I'm, me, translation, he don't want a relationship. Exactly. Don't. Exactly. I was yeah. like, Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> right? I was like, okay, cool. no problem. I went on myself too. Okay. Next. <laughs> I, I was like, but then like I just kept thinking about him, like, oh, what the hell, man? Okay, whatever. But then he texted me the next day because he talked to his sister. His sister's like, you know what? Like, who knows? Is she might be the one. She might not be the one. Do your yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he texted me. He was like, oh, let's go on a date. Oh. I'm like, a date? Why? And then he's like, and then why are you saying why? Didn't you want him, girl? What's yeah. wrong with you? But then I'm like, so what changed your mind in 24 hours? He goes, mm. well, you know, I talked to my sister. Like, I, it's, he's a, like, he's a little bit like, you know, not very social. Okay, so, okay. so I got, He's I got a shy boy. Yeah. So I, I love that because I'm not shy. Yes, so you're outgoing cool. like me. Exactly. You know, maybe sometimes we need a shy boy exactly. to kind of calm us. Sometimes he's like, babe, settle down. down. Just settle a little down. bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. So um, I was like, oh, okay, we can go on a date. And then he goes, let's go ice skating. Mm. My response to him? I, I don't know how to ice skate. I am black. I do not ice skate. <laughs> right. Literally. I'm sorry. I'm from what? the Caribbean. <laughs> no. There's no ice in Haiti. Exactly. No, there's no snow. Only ice you get in is ice in your exactly. drink. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely not. I was like, oh, we can go out to eat. And then he goes, okay. Like, And then he goes, I'll plan everything. I'll pick you up at eight. Like, you know, I'm like, hmm. 
Mm. Okay. Fellas, take notes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> take notes. And was I'm like, single. Take notes. <laughs> She's single and beautiful. Single. I'm just saying, gentlemen. Like, come on. Like, she's the fool. Good kid. Going on. Like, you know that little song? You could have had a bad bitch. <laughs> I'm not a middle. <laughs> exactly. After what you call Rhea, just, just a letter. letter. <laughs> you supposed to hold me down. <laughs> I love that song. I'll be in the car and be like, yeah, that's my song. Whenever I listen to that song, he's like, what did I do? <laughs> I'm like, you didn't do anything. It's a good song. I know, I know. Because guys be thinking, she trying to throw shots on mm. you with him. No, sometimes I am. I yeah. am. Just give me the flowers. Come on. Right? Yeah. The flowers. The flowers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, and then we weren't on a date. It wasn't awkward. It wasn't like, it was just like. It's cool. It was, it was awesome. But That's I was good. also 19, so I couldn't drink. Dang. He was like, oh, do you want to drink? Are we older like, than you? Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How many years older? Uh, he was tw He's 27 now. I'm 24 years Oh, okay. Yeah, older. Okay. Yeah, he. I like the fact that he's older than me because it's like he's seen a lot more. more and you know, they kind of when they're younger than us, they're like a little mm. more immature. So it's good because even though he's older than you, he probably still oh, no, I'm is so like, mature than him. Exactly. I'm, I'm more mature so. than him. Oh, hundred percent. Kevin, Kevin gonna be watching. He's like, really, babe? <laughs> no. Really, I say all that? No. See, I did talk to him about this. I'm like, babe, is there something you don't want me to talk about? He goes, do your thing. I'm okay. doing my thing. Okay, I love that. I love um, that. No, so we went on a date. Like, we did not kiss on our first date. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. And did you want to kiss him? Though? I did. Because I know you was attracted. You probably like, did he try to make a move, though? <laughs> he did. He, he did. did. And then what were you like? And then I was just like, thank you for dinner. <laughs> I'm dying. Thank you. Girl, you know, deep down. Bye. I did kiss him on the cheek. I was like, you know, thank you. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I had a good time. And then ever since we, we've been, and then two weeks later, on my birthday, he asked me to be his girlfriend. Damn. Mm -hmm. He's quick, Kevin. Yeah. That was take notes. Yeah. Please, don't, Quincy, I, take notes. Like, what I'm are you waiting for? Yeah. Can you he tell goes, Quincy to hurry up? Quincy, hurry up! <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> no, I told, like, he said he knew, like, since, like, you know, because we, I wasn't a stuck-up person. He yeah, used yeah. the term that he used. Yeah. And then he said, like, you know, like, we vibe with each other. Like, we have that, like... Connection. Like, exactly. like why deny it? Like, like if it happens, if it, it happens. happens. It happens. Yeah. If it doesn't work out, it didn't work out. Exactly. But, you know, like, we've been together four and a half years now. Oh, okay. And it's, it's, it's fun. Like, I, he's my best friend. So and I that's how it, it should be. <laughs> it's like whenever something happens, I'm like, babe, you're not gonna believe what happened. Okay, one thing. <laughs> if somebody tells you you cannot tell anybody about this, your significant other does not count. <laughs> okay? My best friend sometimes she's like, You can't tell anybody about this. Mm -hmm. Can you will know? It. Of course. He will know. That's I'm like if I tell my oldest is saying automatically your husband yes. probably knows. And you know what? Sometimes he'll give me his perspective on certain things. So it's mm -hmm. like, why not? So it's I I'm just letting you know, tell us. Oh yeah, girl. Okay. You, girl. Let's do yeah. this. But he's a he's a good gentleman. He's he's nice. I love Sometimes it. he gets me mad, but you know what couple doesn't? I know. I mean, that's a part of it. Is Thank that enough? You? Oh yeah. But, just yeah. so my advice is, you know, like don't give up. Like love don't is there. Love. Like yeah. you just haven't found yours yet. It's don't don't let that asshole like. Yeah. ruin anything for you like, yeah kind of when you have a bad experience it's like it's like you uh, know like it's uh. like you know if i didn't try with kevin like i would never be here right now like we're living together we're traveling together like we're doing all these things like you yeah. know it's it's nice i love it's, it i love it black it's so beautiful <laughs> so ladies she's giving us hope for us you know single women like you know maybe you know after hot girl summer is done loading yeah we'll, we'll, we'll we'll try, try in september <laughs> try in september give me back in september you know it's hot girl summer, I know. summer honestly i'm not gonna lie to you i highly hate when people say oh my god you guys a couple goals don't say that like that's a lot right. of pressure <laughs> to put on me right. as in like if things don't work out i don't want you to think that it's not gonna work for you right oh my like, god i hate when people say that to me i'm just like babe yeah, or a couple goals, and then he's like, "No, we're not." Like, do they know what we go through? <laughs> I'm dying. I seen the funniest meme. It was like, um, you know, you couples that be posting pictures when you guys break up. We need to know, like, you yeah, that is known. It's like, damn, like when I seen but that meme, it was like, I can honestly say we've never broken up. Okay, that's like good. we argue. He sleeps on the couch sometimes. Like, get you on know, the couch, get, yep. get, get in there. But then it's like two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, come back. Like, I'm going now. <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah, so that's good. Because I yeah. know a lot of people who be together a long time. It's was like on and off. I'm not going to lie to you. People in between. I just can't see myself with anybody else. I, okay. I, 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 
so cute. I just no, I literally cannot like. It's like if I lose him, I will lose a partner and a best friend at the same time. So yeah. I'm gonna have my broken, my heart broken twice. Kevin, you better not mess this up. Oh, no. I know you're watching this. Episode he always says and... that if, like, if we break up, it will be my fault and not his. And then I'm just like. You know, mean, right? What? I know. I'm a good person. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Right. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, so, what's something you do miss about being single? I hope it's okay that I asked you this question. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, it would be the whole going on a first date. Yeah. It it really would. It's one of those things where it's like you're trying to get to know the person, but you don't want to go through that process. But yeah. you do want to go through that process. Right. Right. It's, right. It's, it's it's like somebody knocking on your door saying i'm a hopeless romantic i'm a hopeless <laughs> romantic too oh my god somebody like, so knocking comment. on your door you know mm-hmm. like just like hey i'm here you know like not right. honking the horn like don't do right. that or be like i'm here yeah. like don't do that that's not nice right. it's it's what it's i, I kind of miss that to be honest with you but okay. we go and date sometimes and then i'm like knock on the door and you know <laughs> <laughs> like, poor man he goes outside the house and then just knock on the door and then i'm like oh okay i love it love it and did you uh, do you miss the process like when people be like what's your favorite color or like how do you feel about that or do you not like don't that? ask somebody that question i i <laughs> honestly it's like for me we just have conversations where it just like flows and everything okay. so it's like we don't ask each other so what is your favorite color what's yeah. your favorite number don't ask somebody that question it's just this, uh, yeah it's like just put it in conversation yeah no, it's, it's like not 21 it questions it's Design. not 21 questions i seen the funniest me my friend sent me um this guy's like asking the girl what's your favorite color and she's just like yo what do you want from me just just let me know like <laughs> like if you want a relationship say it if you yeah. just want to like mess around say that yeah too. like you don't let want me know like do not let somebody waste their time exactly. like at all don't do it it's <laughs> like no Damn, I'm heated though. I know. Off. It's okay. <laughs> just get me heated. Oh, good. Okay. But, damn. I don't yep. that part okay. So, what was the last part you said? Um, it's just like, don't like don't play games with somebody. You know what you want. As a man and a woman, you know what you want. It's yeah. like, just say it from the beginning. I'm not the type of person that's like, I'm just going to play around and do puzzles with you and everything. Like, right. no. It's like, I will tell you straight up, this is what I want. Like, right. what is it that you want? Do not waste any each other's time. Like, don't waste your time. Exactly. Like, at all. We ain't got time to waste no more. No. It's like, <laughs> we, people need to understand, we're getting older. Exactly. We're not like, getting any younger. You're not getting younger at all. It's like, do you really want 20 years down the road? You're like, damn, I'm still single. Yeah, and no, you're like, 40? Like, no. Yeah. You don't want that. You at least want one true love. Exactly. I, like, just you know put yourself out there don't be shy exactly and if you are taking a girl on a date make sure you pay yeah you know, if you asked her out that implies that you're paying because girl i've had guys ask me out on dates then come up with the i can't find my wallet i'm like yo i'm about to be like we can go back to your house to get the wallet but i'm like you know what i got my own money I don't need him. You know, I never heard Just of him so after you that. know, gentlemen, we don't need you. Yeah, we don't need you. Okay, we want you. Exactly. Two different things. Don't ever get it twisted. Don't get it. Don't get that. Don't twisted. get it twisted. And um, if you ask a girl out, that means you're you paying. Are paying. If I ask you out, that means I'm treating. So like, let's, yes. You know. But you know, I don't, like if a girl wants to tip. It is I'm not tipping. You ask me on a date, you paying for everything. I'm not tipping. I'm not paying nothing. You ask me on a oh, date, God. I'm not paying. No, see, I I don't mind giving. Like, if the bill is like a hundred bucks, twenty bucks, I don't mind it. If you know it doesn't work out, I lost twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah. I'm but like, I mean, if they asked, I feel like the right thing to do. Yeah. Is the gentleman, you know. But yeah, you know, like I said, I'm not tipping. So yeah. <laughs> Ladies, don't listen to her. <laughs> Tip. It's no, because okay. if he asks me out, he's paying for everything. And if I ask him out, then I'm treating. That's it. Period. Point blank. Oh, That's all I'm going to say. Okay. You know what? I'm like, people are different. I'm Everyone's okay with that. It's, really it's, it's, it's okay. You know, it's fine. She, she's not tipping, gentlemen. Just so you no, know. I'm not tipping. Bring your tipping Dis- money with you. Disclaimer. Yes. <laughs> disclaimer. If you said you're treating, you're, you're paying treating for the everything. whole thing. Exactly. And you know what? It's like, I wouldn't understand why you wouldn't want to tip. <laughs> Look at her. Right. She's gorgeous. Right. She like right. like look at like, I don't understand the personalities there. You know the lips are there. She does not bite unless you ask. <laughs> you know. That's not a top another episode. Okay. 
next time. <laughs> yes, yes, Quincy, yes. you never know. She's there. She's for waiting real. for you. Let's do I'm this. waiting. Like, come on, dude. What is happening? He's uh, slacking. He's slacking, girl. It's a. You know what? I understand. You're not mature yet. You just. You. You're still. He ain't ready. ready. He ain't He's ready, ready. yet. He's not because ready. All, all it is. All of that. I, he I ain't get ready it. yet. I yeah. get it. <laughs> So, what's your tips for us single women? Do not give up. Don't give up on love. Yes, I'm don't. Romantic. It's like don't just because love. it didn't work with that person doesn't mean it will not work with the other one. I am kind of a hopeless romantic. I am too. I love it. I'm I feel like that's why I read like romance books and stuff yep. like that. I, it's true. It's like you cannot give up on like one. Do not give up on yourself. That's one thing to never do. It's like, you know, that person didn't work for a reason. I'm a strong believer in like everything, everything happens, happens for a reason. reason. Yeah. Like it's, you know, if it didn't work with that person, it will work with the next one. Exactly. And if it doesn't, you got the next. Exactly. Kiss them frogs. Yes. I've had, we, yes. I, I've have. kissed quite a few. Quite a few. Yeah. Yeah. Before hopefully he none of them, them Hopefully none of them <laughs> watching. <laughs> Girls, small world. We're not. You never know. Like, mm, oh God. I was one of her frogs. You know, and then I met Kevin. He was a frog. Hey, exactly. He was a but you know. They led you to Kevin. Exactly. So. Kevin, right? Like, that's his name. Right? Yes. Kevin, yeah. They led and you to Kevin. Thank so. you for leading me to Kevin, my man. Now, exactly. I appreciate you now. Right. Right. <laughs> I did you before, but not anymore. <laughs> thank you, next. So <laughs> Ariana Grande, thank you, next. Exactly. <laughs> you know, ladies, just don't give up. Don't really, give up. don't do it. It's. Yes. You gotta try. Yes, and make sure you follow her blogs on Feature Appetite. Read yes. them. She'd be giving good advice. Disclaimer, give your disclaimers. Oh, I know you said one if woman. If your relationship does not work, it is not because of me. I had a lady text me one day talking about I left my husband after reading your blog post. It mm. is not my fault. However, you interpret the whole situation. Interpret, yeah. It's not me. Yeah. Okay? And she has to agree with it too. I know you said yes what you blog if, about is something you believe in so yes if i believe in something i will talk about it if i don't believe in it she'll be like no. try again try, try again, again. Next time. yeah no yeah. thank you try again yeah Maybe. absolutely this topic, so. yeah. <laughs> i love it i love it so subscribe to my youtube channel you guys watch miss bertrand's blogs read them she be giving good insight and again like she said disclaimer you know like how you interpret it that's on you Okay, yes. that's on you. She's not telling y'all to leave Before no you break up with nothing. him, really make a pros and cons list. <laughs> yes, yes, literally. <laughs> disclaimer, and we have the disclaimer. Yes. We have it in proof you know on what? video I right now. Sign it and literally, everything. Yeah. Like, no. like the waiver when it's like, you know, we're not responsible if you die. She's not responsible for any failed relationships. Or and guys, like that. if she breaks up with you, it is not my fault, okay? Don't be hitting her up with the <laughs> fan <laughs> hate mail and nothing like that, you know? <laughs> Don't text me. <laughs> right, right. Like, I, did, I didn't say all that, so. <laughs> I love it. So yes, you guys, subscribe to my channel, watch her blogs, read them, and always remember to love yourself, accept yourself, and live authentically. And that's the Stacey Bell Show with your girl, Stacey. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, man. So what did, you, what did you think about being on the Stacey Bell Show? I was scared in the beginning, but I loved it. It's like, I, I don't know. I feel like I didn't know what kind of vibe it was going to happen, but the second she walked through the door she was happy she was smiling i was like okay oh, it's gonna be fun <laughs> she had the food ready for me i was like oh, yes of course. she's one of my guests who feeds me you will be a reoccurring guest <laughs> oh absolutely okay. i'll be back you so you'll, be, you'll be back on the show again oh absolutely you like the vibe of the stacy bell show 100 percent. you're gonna tell your friends about it <laughs> oh psh, come on you're tell them that's to subscribe. a given oh 100 <laughs> percent. Okay. you heard it here first <laughs> stacy bell show it's a vibe it's a vibe <laughs> yes it is bye <laughs>